The Grenfell Tower fire two years ago forced many residents in high-risk flats to think about the cladding on their homes. And today the government said it will fund the replacement in private tower blocks at a cost of £200 million. Some campaigners are thrilled, but others aren't, like residents in a building in Kent. Their cladding doesn't fully qualify, and they say they're living in fear. Leila Hayes reports. 72 people died here with flammable cladding blamed for the rapid spread of the blaze. But nearly two years after the Grenfell fire, it's still on hundreds of buildings. Rachel Guy lives in North Point in Bromley. It's covered in three types of cladding. We're having to live with basically a constant shadow of fear. Try and ignore it and, and really not, not think about it most of the time because if you do think about it, it becomes overwhelming. There are some people in the block who have told me they, they literally, they're coming home and they just feel their heart sinking as they approach the building because they've got to come back and sleep in the building overnight. North Point now needs a 24-hour waking watch with residents doing fire warden shifts themselves to keep it safe. It costs hundreds a month. It's effectively been like paying another mortgage. You kind of concentrate on that because you don't want to concentrate on the fact you live in a, uh, in a very, very flammable building that should have never been clad in this stuff in the first place. Today, the government announced it will pay £200 million to replace cladding like that used on Grenfell Tower on more than 150 private blocks in England. Originally, the housing secretary had said the bill should be covered by the owners. The pace of change has not been fast enough for me. Obviously, there are a number of developers who are doing the right thing, who've stepped in, and we expect them to stand by those commitments, and many have already done so. But it's equally how we can make progress quickly. The money will only be used to remove aluminium composite material cladding, or ACM. Campaigners say it doesn't go far enough. If there is a fire um, in the block, uh, a fire doesn't distinguish between ACM and non-ACM cladding. Okay, If the cladding is combustible, it will burn quickly and the building will be unsafe. The government says it's testing other types of cladding, but for now residents of North Point will only get one type removed and say they don't want to be another Grenfell. The fact that two years on we're still in the, trapped in the situation that they found themselves in is a national scandal. There are numerous blocks across the country in this position. And the fact that the Grenfell survivors have got the humanity to care about our position and support us just really shows how lacking the government response has been. The government says the results of its cladding tests will be ready in the summer and it will then decide whether to take further action. But two years on from Grenfell, many residents still have no solution in sight. Leila Hayes, 5 News.